Minimizing gas usage is a key part of being a successful Solidity developer. But how do we know how much gas a function will use before deploying it? Actually, that's easy with the remix.ethereum.org tool. Let's walk through an example. First, we'll create a contract. We'll call this the contract 2.sol. And in this contract, pragma solidity 0 decimal 8 decimal 0 contract the contract 2 and open our curly braces now inside this contract i'm going to define one public array named nums array and i'm going to define one function to add values to that array add to array and it takes an integer and this function is public and it pushes that integer onto the array and we'll define one more function called get array which doesn't take any arguments and it returns the current state of the array now open the compiler menu and compile the contract so compile the contract 2.sol then in the deploy and run transactions menu we're going to click deploy and you'll notice that our contract which is deployed appears down here and if we open that up we have access to our functions so we can pass an argument and run add to array so let's add a couple values here let's add the integer 5 let's add the integer 1 Let's add the integer 10 and let's add the integer 7. And then we can click get array. And we can see that inside of our array, we have the elements we just added 5, 1, 10, and 7. And if we open up the menu at the bottom, which sometimes looks hidden, we can actually see the functions we've just called. So we can see that here we called the add to array function. So if we open this up, we can actually see the transaction and execution cost. And if you're not familiar, gas is priced in GUI. So you'll have to do the math at the current price to see how much this would actually cost in Ether. And if you're unsure, I cover this calculation in my Ethereum Gas Explained video. And that's it, it's simple. Now you can use this to gain an intuition over what types of operations and functions use more or less gas. Pretty cool, huh?